People have been thinking about the history of religion in America since, well, about as long as there's been an American. I remember as an undergraduate reading the big fat books about American religious history, and I thought they were lovely stories, they just didn't have me in them. How do we tell expansive stories that get in not only Catholics, but Jews and Buddhists and Hindus, African Americans, Asian Americans, indigenous peoples. In other words, how do we tell a more inclusive story that represents the broad and deep history of religion in the lands that became the United States? This is such an enormous project, about 11,000 years of history. I've actually had to learn other fields to try to figure out, could people have traveled then? Where were the ice-free corridors? What was the peopling of America like, and where did they come from? And then along the way, uh, there's all kinds of interesting stories. Stories about great civilizations along the Mississippi around the year 1000, or Chinese immigrants in Louisiana in the 1870s and the ways in which the Deep South opens to the Pacific and China in ways that we don't usually think about. And of course, this story extends all the way to the present as the 1965 Immigration Act, signed by LBJ, allows Asian and Latino migrants to come and change uh, American society even more. It's remarkably interdisciplinary and really more than any person can do in some ways, but that's part of the excitement and the challenge of it. In both graduate and undergraduate offerings, I ask, are there ways in which my current research can inform the conversation? And in fact, nobody has read any of this book yet except for uh, students here at Notre Dame. Student reaction uh, it, from the classroom is really crucial to me because if I can't get an argument by them, it's probably not a good argument. They've taught me a lot of things about how to think through the narrative and what works and what doesn't work and what evidence is persuasive. I think it's really important to make sure that everyone, all Americans, find some place in the larger story and it isn't centered on one faith or one people or one place. It has implications for how we think about immigration policy, how we treat uh, those down the street at, at the mosque. Notre Dame is a great place to do this kind of project because we're comfortable here in thinking about the social and moral implications of scholarship asking questions, as I have been for a lot of years, about uh, why narratives matter. Uh, it comes naturally here, and I find my colleagues uh, share my concerns. It seems to me that working for justice and peace is part of what scholarship should be about. So part of what I want to do is, is think about ways in which we can increase empathy and increase tolerance, so that the, the effect of my work, I hope, will be to make a better world.